So yesterday I got my uh, Shapeways uh, order in, ordered three prints. So this is one of them. It's the most expensive one because it was the most uh, dense. They charge by volume of plastic used. Battery case is supposed to be, or battery pack is supposed to be epoxied here. Laser module gets epoxied in here. And this snaps around a, a cane. It just snaps there like that. And hold everything instead of using rubber bands. These two prints are the same thing in two different uh, materials. This is elastoplastic or something. Sort of rubbery. See, squish it down. So for this, you can feed a um, thing of Velcro through here. Attach, attach it to the cane. It's three parts, so you can fit a uh, these small little tactile switches in there. This is the hard plastic version. After you solder the wires, the wires fit out through the one of these holes in the sides here. Have this collar piece and the actual button piece. Ends up something like this. You have the button on top. I'm just pressing the uh, tactile switch underneath. And here we have the laser cane fully assembled. Have the uh, button casing up here. Uh, when you push it, laser turns on. Uh, we have the clip on ring here. It goes on the cane itself. The laser and battery pack epoxy to the uh, to the 3D print, and it just snaps on there. You can slide it a little bit and adjust the uh, positioning. And we have Velcro for the um, the button case up here to hold it to the handle. So, Hold the cane, your thumb is right over that. And there you go. You push the button, you get a laser beam that shoots out in front of you. I guess that helps with uh, freezing and freezing of gait and Parkinson's. Here's some more close ups. It's just epoxy to hold the parts to the, the clip-on ring. And I used a little bit of super glue to assemble the uh, the button case. And a bit of cardboard and actually a toothpick to uh, fill up the little bit of extra space in there for the tactile switch. All right, thanks for looking.